This video will work on improving your flexibility, your strength, improving your balance, and improving your cardiovascular ability. The most important part about exercise is repetition. Repetition is the key to any exercise. I recommend you perform exercises like these, if not every day, at least three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is an ideal schedule or you may choose Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, three days a week with one day in between to do something else or to relax your body. You need a day in between break in order to strengthen your body, ladies and gentlemen. Your body recuperates and builds up during the rest process. It is not until you sleep or until you sit down to feed that your body starts to repair itself. Both are repair processes, eating as well as resting. Okay? If at any point you're not sleeping good, or if at any point you're not eating good, I know it will affect you physically. Please pay attention to the stretches. Enjoy the workout. If you have any questions, we we'll always love to hear your feedback. Now we will begin the warm up. Let's start from the top and work our way down. That makes it easier to remember when you want to practice on your own. First thing to remember is your breathing. We want to breathe nice and slow, nice and deep, but without holding the breath. We breathe in through your nose and out through the mouth. Again, that's in through your nose and out through the mouth. One more. In through the nose, out through the mouth, and relax. The first stretch is for the neck. We're going to turn and look over your right shoulder as far as possible until we feel some muscles in the neck stretching. We then hold, breathe, and relax. Let's look over your right shoulder to begin with. Better. Stretch. You stretch and you hold. Look over your shoulder and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, relax. Now we go over the opposite shoulder. And stretch, look over the shoulder, hold till you feel. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, relax. Next we're gonna set your ear on the shoulder. Ear on the shoulder, head and eye straight to the front. You'll set your ear on the shoulder without moving the shoulder. Do not move the shoulder, bring the ear to the shoulder. Let's go to your right shoulder. Shoulders are down and relaxed. But up. Stretch, stretch, hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. The opposite shoulder and stretch. Stretch and hold. You should feel something. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Next is the shoulder shrug. For the shoulder shrug, the arms are down by the side. When the arms are hanging naturally by the side, the arms are in line. The finger are in line with the seam of the pant. Ears are in line with the shoulder. Shoulder in line with the elbow. Elbow in line with the, the palm. Palm right in line with the seam on the pant. And all we're going to do here is just raise the shoulders up and then slowly bring them down. Okay? When you bring them up, you want to breathe out. When you want to come down, you want to breathe in. Again, you're breathing out and you're breathing in. You're breathing out and you're breathing in. And we want to continue through 10. We say 10 and then it's down. We say 9 and then it's down. We say 8 and then it's down. We say 7 and then it's down. We say six, and then it's down. We say five, and down. We say four, and down. We say three, and down. We say two, and down. We say one, and down, and up. On the last one, we like to hold it. Okay, we just hold it momentarily. You want to do the best you can, not sacrificing your, your form, but holding it the best you can and remembering to breathe. You're going to feel this even more, 
okay, because the muscle's going to be somewhat exhausted, and you holding it is not giving the muscle a break. It's going to start to talk to you, okay? Keep breathing, and then relax. Let's move down now to the arms. The arms. This is what we call the curl. The curl is going to work everything between the elbow and the shoulder, the bicep and the tricep muscle, okay? For this exercise, we want the thumbs to be facing left and right. Thumbs to the left and to the right. And palms should be somewhat in line with the seam on the pant and so in line with the elbow. And it looks just like this. We breathe out. We breathe in. We breathe out. We breathe in. We breathe out. We breathe in. Try to move nice and slow and nice and fluid. Okay? Keeping the elbow nice and still. Okay? And again, this is the warm-up phase, so don't overdo anything. If you're feeling any discomfort, go lighter than stronger. Okay? Loosen up. Okay? Repetition is the key to the exercise. If it's a tight muscle, the more you continue to loosen it up, the less you will feel discomfort. Okay? Let's get four more. Give me four, and then it's down. You give me three, and then it's down. You give me two, and then it's down. You give me one, and then it's down. Last one, and it's up. And again, we're holding it. We're holding it. And we come down on the 10 count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. The next one, for the shoulder, for the shoulder. Okay. Until you start moving the elbow, you're not incorporating the shoulder. Now we're going to ask the shoulder to come in and help out. By picking up on the elbows, again, now we're going to fire up your shoulder muscles. And all we're going to do here is just going to open out, and then we'll come back in. Okay. You breathe out, you breathe in. You breathe out, you breathe in. It's out through the mouth and in through your nose. Out through the mouth and in through the nose. Open wide, open wide. Nice stretch. Nice stretch, open wide, open wide. A nice stretch, a nice stretch. Give me five, you bring it in. You give me four, you bring it in. You give me three, you bring it in. You give me two, you bring it in. You give me one, bring it in and out. Bring it in and relax. Now that we've demonstrated how to properly perform the exercises, let's chain them together. When you chain exercises together, it gives you more of a cardio workout. Anytime you're moving without a break, you're going to feel it putting more pressure on the heart. Okay? The more it affects your breathing, the more it perfects your breathing. Okay? So when cardio happens, you should start to feel yourself warm up as the blood starts to circulate. As the heart starts to do work, not only will you start to warm up, you'll start to feel your breathing change also. Okay, let's go ahead with the nice gentle warm up, arms down by the side. And again, the key here is try not to stop. If you need to lighten up the movement, lighten up the movement, but try to stay in motion. Begin with shoulder shrugs. Ready? Exercise. Up and down. Shoulders up, shoulders down. You breathe out, breathe in. You breathe out, breathe in. Shoulders up and shoulders down. You breathe out and breathe in. Shoulders up and shoulders down. You breathe out, breathe in. You pick it up and down. Shoulders up and then it's down. Shoulders up and then down. Get it up. Woo! Breathe out, breathe in. You breathe out, breathe in. Out through your mouth, in through the nose. You breathe out, breathe in. You breathe out, breathe in. You give it up and then it's down. You give me five, and then it's down. You give me four, and then it's down. You give me three, and then it's down. In two, and down. Give me one, and then it's down. Last one, it's up. And relax. Let's curl. Breathe out, breathe in. You pick it up, and then down. Breathe out, breathe in. Pick it up, and then down. Get it up, down. Get it up, down. Breathe out, breathe in. You pick it up, and then it's down. You breathe out, breathe in. You pick it up, and then down. Don't move that elbow. Keep it nice and still. Don't move that elbow. Keep it nice and still. You pick it up. Woo! 
Give me five, and then it's down. Give me four, and then it's down. Give me three, and then it's down. And two, and then it's down. Give me one, and then it's down. Elbows up. Woo! You breathe out, breathe in. Bring it in. You breathe out, breathe 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 in. Give me five, bring it in. Give me four, you bring it in. Give me three, bring it in. And two, bring it in. Give me one, bring it in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, eat in, and out, breathe in, and relax. Let's just add a little bit of motion behind that. Gentle motions, ladies and gentlemen. One, it's just a little side step. Don't make it complicated. All we're doing is keeping your body in motion for a moment. Okay? When you go moving without a break, again, you're going to start to feel it here. You're going to start to feel the warm up. Okay? Don't feel like you're the only one experiencing that. We are all are feeling the same thing, ladies and gentlemen. The more you move without a break, it's going to warm you up. It's going to make you uncomfortable. Okay? You're going to start thinking of a thousand reasons why you should stop. Oh, did I leave something on the stove? Um, oh, did I hear the phone ringing? Come on, this is your time, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to get selfish just for a moment. Just do this for you. Do this for you. It's all about you. Okay? Everybody's at home now. They can help you out with all that other stuff. Now, this is your hour. This is your power hour. Focused. Keep moving. Keep moving. A side step. A side step. A one. And two. A side step. A one. And two. A one. And two. And one. And two. Now let's put those arms in there. Let's put those arms nice and easy. One. We're slightly pushing the arms. Two. And one. And two. The light push of the arms. And one. And again, this is the warm up. You don't want to overdo this part, ladies and gentlemen. Because again, if you overdo the warm up, you won't continue on to the workout. The warm-up and the workout should feel completely different. Okay? And three. Woo! And two. And two. And one. And one. Baby arm circle. The light baby arm circles. Light baby arm circles. Light baby arm circles. And I'm saying light because, again, it should come off easy. You should perceive this as easy. If at any point you're perceiving it as difficult or strenuous, that is what we're calling the workout, ladies and gentlemen. We are not in the workout phase. This is still the feel-good part. This is the warm-up. You should be able to do the warm-up with a smile on your face. You should be able to do the warm-up for a while. Okay? It should feel like, woo, I can do this for quite some time, okay? But don't worry, that's why we don't do the warm-up warm all day. It's just to get us loosened up, ladies and gentlemen, just to get us loosed. In five, two, one, two, one, two, and three, and one, and two, and one, two, Drop your arms and keep your legs in one and two. And you keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is a very simple move that we're doing. The only thing that is staying consistent is the fact that we're not taking a break. That is the hardest part of the exercise, ladies and gentlemen, is not to stop while we're doing it. Okay? Not to stop while we're doing it. Don't worry. This demonstration is only going to last a little while. When it's finished, ladies and gentlemen, you can treat yourself to a little relaxation for the rest of the day, if that's so be what you choose. But once you put in this kind of work, ladies and gentlemen, you're not likely to want to sit around on the couch. Okay, when you get strong, you want to get out and use these body parts, ladies and gentlemen. You want to move it. Okay, you want to use it. Okay? Now we'll move into strengthening the legs. The most important part about strengthening the legs is recognizing that the legs are a bridge to the upper portion of the body. If we separate lower from the upper, the core, or the midsection 
is what separates the two. Whenever we're moving the lower body, there should be no movement from the upper body and vice versa. As long as we're trying to stabilize the midsection, we are in turn strengthening the midsection. For this section, we want to bring the toe forward. The shoulders are back and the ears are back. Once the ears are back, the ears are over top of the shoulders. Arms are hanging down naturally by your side. All we want to do now is raise up on the knee. You're more than welcome to touch the chair. Okay? I encourage you to support yourself if the legs feel weak. You know your legs are weak if you're having difficulty standing for any period of time or if the legs are unstable when standing. Okay? Toe forward, shoulder back, ears are back, the knee. Ready? Exercise. The knee is up and down. Breathe out, breathe in. It's up, it's down. You breathe out, breathe in. Knee up, knee down. Breathe out, breathe in. And the back, stay straight. And the back, stay straight. And it doesn't move. The back doesn't move. Keep your face in place. Keep the face in place and pick it up. And then down. In five. In four. Give me three. In two. Give me one. And down. Last one. It's up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Back it straight. Raise the knee as far as you can. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax. Opposite leg. Toe is forward. Shoulder is back. Keep hold to your momentum. Don't take too much time to slow down. Back is straight, toe forward. Exercise. Knee up, it's down. Breathe out, breathe in. The knee is up, and then it's down. You breathe out, breathe in. You pick it up, then down. Breathe out, breathe in. The knee is up, and then it's down. You breathe out, and breathe in. Pick it up, and down. Breathe out, breathe in. Knee up, and knee down. Breathe out, breathe in. And keep the back nice and straight. Don't forget, it's straight. In three, give me two. In one, last one, it's up and you hold. Again, you're gonna feel all the way to the leg, okay? This is where we wanna maintain our posture. Don't give up, straighten out your posture. Raise that knee, raise it up. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Let's immediately go right on into your lat raise. The leg goes straight up to the side, straight up to the side. Stand up nice, straight, and erect. Nothing moves except the leg directly out to the side. Ready? Exercise. Out and in. The knee is out. Breathe in. You breathe out. Breathe in. And touch the chair or the chair. Touch the chair or the wall. Touch the chair or the wall. It won't make it feel any Better. It won't make it feel any better. Pick it up and then down. Breathe out, breathe in. It's up, then down. You breathe out and breathe in. It's up, it's down. Breathe out, breathe in. In two, in down. Give me one, in down. Last one, you hold it up. And you just hold it there for a moment. Okay? And again, that's going to expose the weakness in the muscle. Do the best you can. Back straight. Now raise the leg as far as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Opposite leg. Opposite leg. You're doing just fine. You're going to feel that all through the hips. Standing nice and straight. Ready? Exercise. You breathe out. Breathe in. It's up and then it's down. You breathe out. Breathe in. It's up and then it's down. You breathe out. Breathe in. Keep your body Nice and straight. Nothing moves but the leg. You'll feel it in the hip, but nothing moves but the leg. You pick it up, then down. Breathe out, breathe in. You pick it up, and then down. Breathe out, and breathe in. In five, down. Give me four, and down. Give me three, and down. In two, and down. Give me one, and down. Last one, up, and we hold. Okay, it's going to get uncomfortable right here. Do the best you can. Hold, hold. Both legs are going to start to hurt. Okay, it's not because you're over 60. It's because the muscles are weak and they need strengthening. Okay, anytime you're weak, you're going to feel uncomfortable until you're strong. Let's raise that leg as far as you can. Five seconds. Five, 
four, three, two, one, and relax. One more, toe forward. And again, feel free to be supported, okay? Toe forward, Look, raise the knee. Now rotate knee outward. Ready, exercise, the knee is down, pick up. It's down, we pick it up. Down, pick it up. It's down, pick it up. Down, and then it's up. It's 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 down, pick it 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 up. In five, pick it up. Give me four, you pick it up. Give me three, pick it up. In two, pick it up. In one, pick it up. Last one is down and up, and then we hold. Hold, back is straight, knee is up, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Opposite leg, same exercise, opposite leg. Posture, toe forward, shoulder back, slowly raise the knee, rotate knee outward. Ready? Exercise, it's down, pick it up. It's down, pick it up. The knee is down and pick it up. It's down and pick it up. It's down, pick it up, it's down, pick it up. Don't nothing move above your waist. Keep everything in place. Pick it up and down, breathe out and in. Pick it up and then down. In five, in four, in three, in two, in one. Last one, back is straight, knee is up. Again, you're going to feel that leg should be somewhat exhausted. When they're exhausted, they're tired. They don't want to work anymore. Back is straight. Raise the knee. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Turn to face the wall. Now I'm going to do your calf raise, picking up on your heel, picking up on your heel. It's all about the heel. Pick up on that heel as far as you can, ladies and gentlemen. Touch the chair or the wall. It does not take away from the exercise. It perfects the exercise. Heels up, bend, shoulder width apart. You should feel your head going up and down. Your head should go up and down. We don't want your ankles going left or right. Your ankles and head should go up and down, not left and right. Ready? Exercise. Heels up and down. Breathe out, breathe in. It's up and then it's down. Breathe out and in. Heels up and down. Up and down. You breathe out and in. The heel is up and then down. In ten and down. In nine and down. Give me eight and down. In seven and down. Give me six and down. In five and down. Give me four and down. In three and down. In two and down. Give me one and down. Last one. Up. Oh, hold that heel up. Don't let your heel drop. Open your legs with your heel off the ground. Legs nice and wide. As wide as you can open the legs. And exercise. The heel is down. Pick it up. Down. And then up. It's down. Pick it 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 up. Get down. Get it up. Get down. Get it up. It's down, and then it's up. It's down, and then it's up. Give me three. Get it up. In two. Get it up. In one. Get it up. Last one. Down, and up. Hold up. Keep the heel off the ground. Now bring the ankles all the way together as close as possible. Ankles touching. Heel off the ground. Ready? Exercise. The heel is down. Pick it up. The heel is down. Pick it up. The heel is down, pick it up. The heel is down, pick it up. You'll feel this in the back of the leg, of the leg, right above your heel, right behind your knee. It's down and then up, it's down and then up. In five, pick it up. In four, pick it up. Give me three, pick it up. In two, pick it up. In one, pick it up, last one. Down and up. Now, right now, the leg is more than likely fatigued, okay? If your ankle is shaking 
or you feel your ankles going to the left and right, that is how you know the ankle is fatigued. The ankle is not designed to go to the left. The heel is not designed to go left and right, ladies and gentlemen. We want that heel to go straight up in the air. Let's pick it on up even higher. Up, up, up. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. You should feel the back of those legs. And they should feel like they've been worked.